an affair with Herman Cain. The tipster also alerted other national media, who all reached out to Miss White. Well, Ginger White told me she had an off-and-on affair for more than 13 years with Herman Cain, and she felt she had no choice but to come forward and tell her story on her terms. I'm not proud. I didn't want to come out with this. I did not. Ginger White was worried a political tsunami was headed her way, so she decided to head it off by confessing she was involved in a nearly 14-year-long affair with presidential hopeful Herman Cain. It was pretty simple. It wasn't complicated, and um, I was aware that he was married, and I was also aware that I was involved in a very inappropriate um, situation, relationship. I have never acted inappropriately with anyone. Ginger White says she met Herman Cain in the late 90s in Louisville, Kentucky, when as president of the National Restaurant Association, he made a presentation. She was impressed. She says they shared drinks afterwards, and he invited her back to his hotel room, telling her, I would like to definitely see you again. You are very beautiful to me, and I would, you know, love for us to continue this. Um, friendship. She says in his hotel room he pulled out a calendar and invited her to meet him in Palm Springs. She accepted and she says the affair began. He made it very intriguing. It was fun. It was something that took me away from my um, sort of humdrum life at the time and it was exciting. She says he gave early published book Leadership is Common Sense and he wrote Miss G, you have already made a big difference. Stay focused as you pursue your next destination. She says during the next 13 years, he would fly her to cities where he was speaking and lavish her with gifts. They often stayed at the Ritz-Carlton and Buckhead and dined at the Four Seasons restaurant. She says he never harassed her, never treated her poorly, and was the same man you see on the campaign trail. Very much the same. Very much um, uh, confident. Very much sure of himself, very um, arrogant in a playful sometimes way, um, very um, Herman Cain loves Herman Cain. When his new book, CEO of Self, came out in 2001, Ginger White says Cain once again autographed it for her, writing, friends are forever, everything else is a bonus. Is it fair to say that the relationship is going on even now? Well, I'm, I'm, it's, I think it's safe to say that after this interview, we can assume that that will be the end of it. Um, but yes, yes, we have a friendship now. I came here to declare my candidacy. She says the 